Hi, in this video I will talk about future skills, free code exams, uh, particularly uh, cash register exam. Uh, so there are two tasks in this exam and uh, I will talk about the second one, which is the challenging one. Uh, this question is a challenging question. And uh, so br to briefly explain, I won't fully explain the question or uh, the answer to the question. You are given a set of numbers and uh, this the numbers do not repeat in the set. So you are given one, two, you, are, uh, you cannot use the same number again. So with this one and two, the minimum unreachable reachable amount is four. So uh, you cannot reach the four because to reach four you need double twos, which means you cannot because repetition is not allowed. Or you need to use double ones and one dollar two, so, which is still not allowed. So this is the question. <clears throat> so these are uploaded on GitHub here, uh, which uh, the link for this GitHub is provided below. <clears throat> so this is the solution to the question. So the easiest way to solve this question is using recursive functions <clears throat> and using vectors in C++. So although <coughs> sorry, although the question tells you uh, a number cannot be used twice, uh, in case you would like to uh, include repetitive case, uh, this uh, program can also solve it. So the answer to this question is if you have two ones in your list, the answer should be three and you will get uh, the result 3 <clears throat> and uh, this is uh, from the exam for instance it should uh, return 4 so it returns 4 so if you want to collect points uh, from the exam uh, you can uh, perhaps collect points from each question each task and uh, get 50 or 60 so you can maybe pass the exam so the first case you can uh, output is uh, the case when the first number is not one if it is bigger than one the result is directly one you cannot reach the one if you have in your list if you do not have one in your list so and the second case you can print out or return in the exam is the consecutive numbers if you are given a set of numbers which are in order which is in order uh, the result is the sum of these numbers plus one so uh, by uh, returning these two subcases two subcases uh, you will get some points but of course uh, if you do not provide a solution such as recursive function here uh, you may not solve other cases so this uh, these three are my examples i think this case is more tricky so uh, the code also succeeds to return the correct answer eight <clears throat> so uh, let me talk about future skill a bit uh, so the only challenge with future skill in my opinion is their interface their interface interface is a bit challenging so before uh, getting the free code exam, I suggest you to use challenges, not exercises, because if you check the challenges, uh, the, descriptions, the descriptions of the problems are quite weak. And uh, you, sometimes you have zero idea what is being asked and what is being given to you. So these shouldn't discourage you. Their free code uh, exams are still not near to perfect as their competitors in the market but much much better and manageable uh, but still uh, their web uh, interface can give you some trouble and uh, so you can go through the exams to have an idea exercises to have an idea but uh, if you're confused try to push it and ask uh, and contact them and ask them but don't be discouraged uh, so uh, I suggest you have a look at the challenges because uh, many people have 
look at these challenges as you see and their uh, challenges are also much better uh, explained so on github you can also find uh, buy and sell gold free code uh, exam but I won't uh, provide the solution because it is uh, an okay problem or easy problem thank you